Hi Busy Hands, uh, welcome to lesson number four of our painter's uh, workshop. So today we're going to get a little bit more adventurous and the reason is because we're going to make a much larger piece. Uh, it's great to have a larger piece now because it gives you more space to make more dots and more designs. Basically, it is also still using the same methods that I taught you in uh, lesson number two. So now let's use this compass to make circles or semicircles. Um, and these lines will be great because it keeps you within the segments. Um, any radius to the circle, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to make uh, uneven spacings. So here we have it. I hope you can see the circles that I have drawn. The next now would be the paints. So I've chosen a new palette of paints, very bright, vibrant colours. Um, they're not really in the same family of colours anymore. I'm going to begin with the centre one here. That's the easiest. So um, I'll just pick up some paints and remember what I said. Uh, when the paint gets a bit too drippy, be careful. Right, we still want a little bit of a pointy end there and we tap and go gently and get that little bump there and remember the main thing we have to do is to wipe it down so I'll just complete one circle here for you to see and uh, then we can continue again so I've done a uh, the clockwork here, I've gone to the 12 o'clock, the 6 o'clock, etc. And now what I want to do is I'm just going to look out for empty spaces that I want to fill that in. And I do see actually, perhaps I can fill some of the little space here. So that's the little dots there. These uh, toothpicks are, are really quite good, the pointy ends of the toothpick even the blunt ends of the toothpick. So now I'm going to use the blunt end of the toothpick to try something. And now maybe I'm going to use the white. So again, a good loading. Remember, do not press too hard. Just a tap and go. So this is quite nice. Um, what I want to do now is I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to start off now from this circle that I've drawn and I'm going to work inwards. So let's see how this goes. I might go back to this pencil. I really love this pencil and I'm going to use a different colour now, maybe a peachy colour. So once again a nice load and I'm just going to walk this all the way around the lines. So what next now? I'm going to work from outside in and I think it's nice now to have um, something a little bit smaller. Get creative, it's really up to you. Um, I'm just going to keep to the same family of colours for now so that I can use other colours on the other circles and I'm just, since I have a yellow, uh, maybe an orange would be nice I'm just going to tip and go Alright uh, now let's work a little bit inwards and I may use this pretty little green to 
Tiffany green here. I'm just going to dot it there. And maybe I'm just going to also add a little bit of uh, white in between. Right. Now, um, what I'm noticing now is I do have a lot of uh, white space um, here where I walked the dots. So maybe I'm going to do something a little bit different now. I'm going to walk the dots. Uh, I'm going to use the uh, blunt end of my toothpick and I'm just going to walk the dots in a straight line. Let's have a look at that. So I'm going to go back to here. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's nice. So now let's move on to the outer circle. It's really big now the outer circle. Let's try to walk the dots a little bit more. Let's try this green now again. The Tiffany green. Sometimes you can go back to the first dot if you find that it's uh, still a bit too thick. Not a problem. Now I want to use a small little brush, right? And let's just break the the patterns here. There are many people who have used uh, Q-tips to print as well. So I think I'm going to attempt to do that now. And I'm going to try and see if I can make nice big dots in between here. So if you notice, as it gets bigger, you have a wide... Uh, selection of tools that you can use because now it really gets uh, the spacing gets really wide good I'm going to use the other end now because I really like the size of the q-tips now and I'm going to move on to add more colors so let's try this one now I'm just gonna go in between now okay so you can see the paint now has quite dried up um, I'm gonna yeah so I'm just going to pick up from inside. We've got a little bit more to go here. So now I'm going to use a slightly bigger one, a bigger, uh, this is a chopstick to walk the dots one more time. Okay, so that's almost, we're almost to the end. And uh, just to make uh, this uh, circle really uh, clear, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to tap tap um, with, sev uh, with just a toothpick, both ends of the toothpick.
would like to do now is I'm just going to use the sharp end of a toothpick and I'm just going to very patiently just dot it all in. So now we'll move on to another part of the tray and I'm going to focus on this one quarter of a circle. The Q-tips once again. And now I'm just going to walk the dots. To look for the white space, um, any empty space that you want to fill up. So I'm just going to fill up this space. Try something different. Uh, this is nice, just stroking it. Dot and pull. Big dot and walk. Big dot and walk. So that is our uh, one quarter of a circle, and I really like that because I really only used four colors. And I think it's really pretty there. So now for this uh, semicircle here, let's attempt to use, uh, let's see if we can do this. Let's try just three colors and let's see how this goes. I'm now going to use the white and I'm just going to dot a semicircle here. little cotton bud and let's now use this so what I've done is I've brought the circles uh, wider apart as uh, I go out of the rings and this is what I'm going to continue to do I'm going to use the other tip. There you go. In fact, this is very nice on its own already. But uh, I did say that I was going to try and use uh, three colors. So let's try this now. just to spruce it up a little bit more and again I'm going to use my q-tip since it's uh, already here and maybe I'm just going to dab in here
I think this is good enough. I don't mind some of the white space that we see there. And I'm just going to leave it as it is because the colours themselves are very pretty. Uh, let it uh, cure for about 24 hours, dry it very well. And when uh, there is uh, the opportunity to go out, get some nice gloss varnish. And uh, this will become a very pretty uh, coffee tray.